this was also something that I had forgotten about. So, so Tommy, I know Tommy co-produced Road to Ruin, but I didn't realize, and I guess it makes sense because he's, he's exiting the band. They're bringing in Marky. Marky's going to record the drums for the songs. But Tommy, I mean, I guess Tommy had written or was a part of the writing process or part of the original, you know, Ramon's element that brought those, that batch of songs uh, together. So what was Tommy, from what you remember, what was Tommy's contribute contribution to the Road to Ruin songs? Was he like, was he, was he a writer on those songs? Yeah, he was involved in a lot of the writing and stuff and in and, and, and the yeah. songs. Initially, uh the first couple albums, they all decided to give credit to just the Ramones. You know, there was no right. individual songwriting. Later on, the individual members of the band said, hey, look, you know, I wrote this, I wrote that. So if you look, look at the later albums, they tell you who wrote the songs, you know. In the early years, I mean, Tommy, Tommy is the architect of the Ramones. I right. Mean, it, he was just like, he put the whole thing together. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant idea. He was the yeah, he, sure. he was the manager. He was the the agent. He got out and tried to get people to come into the shows and and put the whole thing together. People don't give enough credit to Tommy, you know. Of course, Tommy yeah. and I. I mean, I grew up with Tommy. I went to junior high school with Tommy. Right. I went to high school with Tommy. I played in bands with Tommy. Several different right. bands, right. Triad, Butch, and etc. So he was my best friend for over fifty years. So and he was really the architect of the Ramones and people really don't give him enough credit what he did with the Ramones, you know? 